Welcome to the spoken tutorial on slide master and slide design. In this tutorial, we will learn about master slide, how to apply backgrounds, and how to add custom design elements to our slides. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5 Background refers to all the colors and effects applied to the slide that are present behind the content. LibreOffice Impress has many background options. These helps us to create better looking presentations. We can even create our own custom backgrounds for our presentations. While creating custom backgrounds, we can upload background images in the existing theme or select a new background color or insert any design elements of our choice. Let's open our presentation sample-impress.odp. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Click on the master slide icon in the standard toolbar. Another way to access this is by clicking on the view menu in the menu bar, then on the master slide option. In master slide view, notice only three slides appear in the slides pane. These are master slides that have already been used in this presentation. On the top right corner of the standard toolbar, notice three new master view tools are now visible. New master, delete master and close master view. Master slide is like the main template. We can set formatting preferences here, which are then applied to all the slides. First, let's learn how to change the background of this presentation. Right click on slide 1 in the slides pane. From the context menu, click on the new master option. Alternatively, you can also click on the new master icon in the standard toolbar. Notice a new blank master slide named default is added after slide 1. Click on the slide menu in the menu bar and then on the properties option. The slide setup or page setup dialog box opens up. Click on the background tab at the top left in the dialog box. Then click on the bitmap sub tab and go to the bitmap section on the left. It has a list of images that can be used as a background for the slides. Locate the image named Fence and then click on it. In the preview box, we immediately see the preview of the selected image. Leave all the other settings as default. And click on the OK button at the bottom right corner. Notice that the background of the new master slide has now changed. Next, let's learn to change the background color of the entire master slide. Right click outside the text box. From the context menu that appears, click on the properties option. The slide setup or page setup dialog box opens up. Go to the background tab if not already selected. Then click on the color sub tab. Now move to the palette section on the left. In the palette dropdown, standard option is selected by default. If that is not so in your case, please select the standard option. From the color palette, click on any color of your choice. I will select blue. The selected color will be seen in the new box. Now click on the OK button at the bottom right corner. Notice that 
the color of the entire master slide has changed. The background image is now replaced with this color. Next, let's learn how to change the color of the text in this master slide. This will make the text clearly visible against the new background. First, select all the text in the body text box. Right click on the selected text. From the context menu that appears, click on the character option. The character dialog box opens up. Here, click on the font effects tab. Click and expand the font color drop down as shown. We can see another drop down here. By default, standard option is selected in this drop down. From the color palette, click on any color of your choice. I will select yellow. The selected color will be reflected in the text in the preview area. Click the OK button at the bottom right corner. Click anywhere else outside the text box. Notice that the color of the body text has changed now. Let's now learn how to add other design elements to this slide. For example, let's add a logo to our presentation. We will draw an imaginary logo of our own. To do so, go to the drawing toolbar and then click on the insert basic shapes drop down. A variety of basic shapes are seen here. I will click on the rectangle shape. If you prefer another shape, please choose that. Now move the cursor to the top left corner of the title area in the slide. The cursor turns into a plus sign with a capital I subscript. Hold the left mouse button and drag to draw a rectangle as shown here. Now release the mouse button. That is how a shape can be added in a master slide. Adjust the size of the rectangle as per your preference using the control points. We will change the color of this rectangle now. So, right click on the rectangle and then click on the area option. The area dialog box appears on the screen. In the area tab, by default, the color sub tab should already be selected. If not, please click on it. From the palette section, select any color of your choice. I will select light orange one. The selected color will be seen in the new box. Click the OK button at the bottom right corner. Notice that the color of the rectangle has changed. However, notice that the text below the orange rectangle is not visible. Let's learn how to make this text visible. Make sure the rectangle is still selected. On the formatting toolbar, click on the drop down of the arrange icon. Then click on the send to back option. Notice that the text becomes visible now. Click anywhere else outside the text boxes. After all the formatting to the master slide is done, click on the master slide section in the sidebar. In the used in this presentation section, locate the master slide named default. Right click on the default master slide and then click on the apply to all slides option. Finally, click on the close master view icon in the standard toolbar. Now close the master slide section for a better view. The formatting changes made in the master slide are applied to all slides in the presentation. Also notice that the orange rectangle is displayed on all the slides. And this rectangle can only be edited using the master slide. The settings in master slide overrides any formatting changes or layouts applied to slides. Let's check 
what happens now when we add a new slide. First, select the slide titled Open Source Funny in the slide pane and insert a new slide as shown here. Notice that the rectangle we added using master slide is visible in the new slide as well. Type Potential Alternatives in the title text box and click outside the text box. Click on the slide layout icon in the standard toolbar and select title to content over content layout. Now the inserted slide has three body text boxes and a title text box. Enter some content in the body text boxes of the new slide as shown here. Let's revisit all the slides and adjust the color and spacing of the text on each one. We will now save all these changes for future use and then close the presentation file. With this, we have come to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about master slide, how to apply backgrounds and how to add custom design elements to our slides. As an assignment, open practice-impress.odp file. Create a new master slide and apply it to all slides. Change the layout of slide 2 to title content over content. Check what happens when you apply a layout to the master slide. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This Spoken Tutorial was originally contributed by DC Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvin and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.